Hello game developers, Corey here. Uh, this is my first tutorial ever, so let me know how I do in the comments below. Uh, today we're going to be making a quick and dirty compass for your character. This is all the code that we're going to need. It's going to take about five minutes. I'll just show you what it's going to look like when we're all done. And there you are. Uh, compass ready to be polished up. It's dirty, but it works, and you can refine it as needed. Okay, to get started, we're going to go over here into our content browser. Uh, we're going to create a blueprint class, make it an actor. We're going to name it North Pole, because that's where we want our compass to point to. We're going to open it up, add component. I'm just going to give it a, let's make it a cylinder. Make it nice and yellow, compile, save. We can close that, don't need to do anything else with it. Drop it in our scene and into our first person character. So the first thing we're going to do is create a custom event to get North Pole. We're going to drag out an execute node and get all actors of class. There's a drop down here, type in North Pole. Out actors, we're going to type get, grab a copy. We will promote that to a variable. Going to call it north. And execute. And uh, this event here, we're going to call it event begin play. So we'll just drag that out here. Get north pull. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see a little better. So uh, yeah, the event begin play. And then fires off get north pole, which is right here, and that's going to set our variable over here called north. Uh, next, let's go into our viewport. We're going to add the needle to our compass. Let's make it a oops, not a cylinder, we want a cone. And we're just going to orientate that a little bit better. Flip it over on its side, 90 degrees. Flatten it out. Slim it up. And then just put it in a spot we can see it. We will make this yellow as well. Compile, save. Jump over to our event graph. Now we want to update the compass, so we're going to need a custom event called compass. From the compass, we're going to set world rotation. We're going to need to uncheck contact sensitivity up here. Grab set world rotation. And we're going to need a little more room than that. We're going to split this struct pin and build this out. So we're going to get world location and for this we want to grab our it's called cylinder but it should be a compass and we're going to need to get our get actor location and this is going to be the location of the North Pole So now that we got these two vectors, we can grab our find look at rotation, which is a handy little node that'll help us look from our cylinder, or this should be this is the needle of our compass, and it's going to point at the north pole. We'll split that struct pin. We want the yaw, that's left and right. And we're also going to need to change our pitch here. I'll show you what happens if we don't do that. We got an error here. We're going to need our cylinder to plug into the target as well. Compile that, save it, and let's take a look and see what we got. Oh, a couple things I forgot here. Uh, compass, we want that to update on tick. So we're going to get tick. 
sorry, not get tick, event tick. And we want to call compass every frame. File save. Now this is what we get when we hop in here. So it kind of works, but we want to lay that needle over so it's pointing where we want to go. So to do that, you need to go to the pitch down here under set world rotation. We want negative 90 degrees. Compile it, save it. Let's go back into our scene. And there you are. One compass that will point at any actor you want it to. All you got to do is change the variable of the North Pole. So that can be, like I said, any actor in the scene you want. Alright guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.